God's people were ready to enter the land they'd been promised. They arrived at the river Jordan, which they would need to cross over. Joshua, their leader, told them that the Lord would do wonders among them. The priests who carried the Ark of the Covenant were to step into the water of the Jordan, and as soon as they did so, the water further up would stop flowing down and would stand up in one great heap. By this, the Israelites would know that the living God really was among them and that he would give them the land. Sure enough, as soon as the priests dipped their feet in the water, the river stopped flowing and the people could cross over on dry ground. The priests carrying the ark stayed in the middle until everyone had reached the other side, opposite the city of Jericho. Then Joshua called one man from each of the twelve tribes of Israel and told them to take out one stone each from the middle of the Jordan. The twelve stones were set up as a sign to remind the people of what God had done. When the people's children asked them what the stones meant, they were to tell them how the Lord had dried up the Jordan's waters. Joshua told the priests to come up out of the Jordan, and when they set their feet on the other side, the heaped-up water fell back down and the river flowed as before. And the people stood in awe of Joshua their leader, just like they had stood in awe of Moses. From this story we learn that God can do great wonders. Things that are impossible for us, he is able to do. And we learn that God's wonders should be remembered. The amazing things he has done in the past should be called to mind and passed on to others. And we learn that God can be trusted. This miracle showed that God really would give the people the promised land, even though the Canaanites who lived there seemed so mighty. And we can trust God to give us all that he has promised through the Lord Jesus Christ.